clutch is fixed. Yes, sir. No more stuck clutch. No more losing races. I'm hella excited, if y'all can't tell. This has been haunting me for so long. So long. What's going on family? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to uh, try to adjust my six master cylinder. Um, so as you guys know, when I'm driving spiritedly, the clutch, it doesn't get stuck anymore like it used to, but it, it stays further down than what it needs to be. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can adjust it. I uh, watched a couple of videos on YouTube and shout out to 6.7 liter Z. Uh, he kind of gave me this idea as well. So we're going to go ahead and um, adjust it just a little bit and see hopefully we can fix it we are losing daylight so we're going to make this as quick as possible all right before we get started make sure you guys subscribe to the channel hit the like button share the video and uh yeah thank you for watching all right family so now we're underneath the uh, steering column so we're going to move this panel just like we did when we fixed the clutch switch all right so same thing you got this little plastic piece here and this fastener here we're just going to go ahead and uh pop those out and let this drop down i'm missing a screw uh right here typically you have to take that nut off in order to get this whole panel off but um i don't because my car is you know Ooh, two got one oh, I, I pulled both out at the same time all right family so this is the uh this rod right here is what we're gonna be yeah this is loose you guys see these nuts here Right here spinning i don't think that shit is supposed to spin got this one down here on the other end here if you can see that that one just spinning loosely as well this whole thing is fucking loose so again this car got a rebuilt differential and a rebuilt transmission and they put in this goddamn master cylinder for me and just like the switch the switch was just hanging the clutch switch and now this thing here is loose. I was watching a video and they said, make sure you tighten this stuff up or else it'll just move on you. So, and you can mess up your pressure plate if it comes out too far. <sighs> so let me go ahead and see if I can get this adjusted and uh, we'll go from there. All right, family. So what I'm gonna try to do is adjust this rod here. Um, I can move this nut. I'm thinking if I can, it's a lot tighter in here than I thought. So I hope I don't have to take this off in order to adjust it. God damn it. All right, family, so I am getting it to move a little bit. Um, you guys can see that now there's space in between this nut here and the uh, actual rod. I, know, I don't know if I'm doing this right um, by doing it by hand, but there's really no other way to get to it, so. I'm just sitting here turning it like this. How about not going up? And it looks like my pedal's coming up. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is um, I'm going to have to adjust my, you guys can see like my um, clutch switch now is like super depressed in. So I'm going to have to pop that out that bracket and then adjust this properly. Then I'll put this back in and make sure that's adjusted as it needs to be, okay? So um, again, it's a little difficult to do, so it's hard for me to record and do it at the same time, so give me just a second. Now there's, if you watch that other video, there's like a little tabs on both ends here. One right here, one on the other side, you squeeze those in, and that switch will come out. All right, family, so I got the switch out now. And uh, as I mentioned, you have to push both these tabs in in order to get it to pop out. So um, it was easier to do once that pressure was taken off of it. So we're gonna spin this a little bit more. And you can see it pushing the fucking, sorry for my cursing, but I am a little frustrated. You can see it pushing that pedal up now. I may, I may leave it here and try that. Okay, so I'm pulling this screw up here now. And if you can see the nut. And I'm going to tighten that nut up. And then you got another nut here. 
just move that nut there. And then we're gonna tighten those, which they didn't do. And then we're gonna throw our switch back in. Now you guys can see like, that may be too far up, uh, but it's a lot better. My brake pedal and my clutch pedal is like very close now. All right, family, so I think I went a little bit too far because now the uh, clutch is not hitting that other clutch switch, okay? So the clutch is only going to like right here. This is the switch here, which you go all the way in and it's only going like right before it, okay? So I guess I'll adjust it out a little bit to take it back down. All right, family, so you guys see the uh, pedal, clutch pedal at the firewall is going back but it's um not hitting hitting pushing that clutch it's not pushing that switch all the way in so it's making contact but not completely so um we're gonna go up just a little bit more okay so let's see now so that's good. The pedal seems up. All right, so we're gonna try it right there. So it's making contact back there. And we're gonna put this uh, clutch switch here that's hanging back in. This pedal's a lot higher now. It was a lot further down. So now that it's further up, hopefully it's fine. I'm just hoping that the pressure doesn't cause it to go back down again. So um, let me tighten these screws up. And then we're going to see what it does driving around okay if i haven't said it already make sure you tighten up these nuts uh because they will move and adjust on you as you're driving um so make sure that they're tight against this rod here okay um i do believe that this one's a 14 millimeter and this one's a 13 millimeter all right so we're going to use this 14 just to tighten up this uh that may be too small there it goes it's like you don't have any room to really turn the wrench. Okay. I'm going to adjust my other clutch switch. If you guys can see back there, it hits it pretty good. So hopefully that's good enough. If not, I know how to adjust it now. So I'm gonna let this out now because this doesn't need as much space anymore. All right, family, so I took the car out to drive it and it drove amazing. So I'm super excited that it's driving a lot better. Uh, the clutch isn't staying uh, far down anymore. I can, I don't have to double clutch anymore. No more losing races. If it's a close race, I'm gonna pull away. That's how I feel. It ain't gonna be because of my shifting anymore. So super excited about that. Now, one thing I did notice um, last night is that when I turned the car off, um, it made that kind of chatter noise. So um, if you guys know, with a manual c5 corvette you should never turn it off in neutral it should always be in gear and i, I forgot the reason why i know you guys would know uh, but it made that noise even though i had it in gear so i'm going to go ahead and adjust it just a little bit more yeah, i got this thing on here so tight now that i can't move it and that is good because you know didn't have it on here tight but gearhead performance All right, family, so I had to use um, pretty much uh, wrenches on both sides in order to get it where I needed it to be. So now we are adjusting, adjusting it again. Let's push that pretty much all the way in. And it's coming back up to this other switch too. This switch can probably be out just a little bit more. I will say that it's a little difficult making sure that this switch hits, that switch hits, and making sure that your clutch master cylinder is, is all good. We'll try that, we'll see how it is. Um, it's not too far off from the brake like it was initially, but it is just a little bit lower. All right, family, so we got it adjust a little bit. Um, if you can see like where the pedals are, 
they're not perfectly flush but they're not bad right now um, I almost feel like I'm back to where I started at but um, I did start the car and turned it off again and I got rid of that shutter so I think I'm going to go ahead and drive it now real quick the thing is that I have an autocross event tomorrow so I have to make sure that it's perfect alright family so um, I think that final adjustment did it, um, it it'll be good um, I'm just going to adjust my clutch switch here uh, just one, probably one more time I just want to make sure that you know it's kind of where it should be all right family so i think we're good now clutch switch here is uh all the way in now so when it goes all the way back okay switch and it gets pushed in pretty good as well so i think i'm happy where it's at now um again this is nice and sturdy so i think i'm good gears are fine everything goes into gear quickly so yeah, I'm excited now. Garbage now until something else happens. 